This is the Mohawk and the Lanja Show. This is Alanja. And this is Mohawk. Woo! <laughs> okay, so today's experiment is called Cow Gym Bubbles. In this experiment, you're going to need three glasses, water, oil, salt, sugar, sand, and permission from your parents. Remember, you always want an adult around when you're going to do this because since you're little... You don't want to make a mess. Yeah, you don't want to make a mess and your parents are going to be bad at you. So we're, so we're going to start off, we're going to have three cups, each full two-thirds full of water up. We label each of our cups with the different names of the substances we're going to be using. Salt. So we use salt, sugar, and sand, just so we won't get them confused. Okay, after that, what you want to do is going to add half an half inch of oil into the, each cup. The oil is going to stay at the top because it's less dense than the water, so it's not going to mix. That should be about enough. If you want to look at it from the top, you can see all the bubbles that are already forming. So first what we're going to do is we're going to pour salt into the cup that's labeled salt. And we're going to see the reaction it creates with the oil and water. So we're just going to... You don't have to pour a specific amount. Okay, well, well, first we're going to go ahead and add food coloring just to make it look a little bit more interesting. Okay, and notice the food coloring. It doesn't mix in the oil. It just starts um, going towards the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and add the salt. See what happens. And if you can see... You can see the reaction that we're having with the salt. The salt is dragging down some of the oil and it's becoming a saturated mixture. That means at the bottom you can see all the little salt crystals settling down. So what's happening is as it takes some of the oil down, some of the oil is being released back to the top. So that's how you see the bubbles forming, coming up from the bottom towards the top. And the food coloring, it started to um, mix in with the water until that the salt dragged it down, so that looked really cool. So now we're gonna try it with sugar. So we're gonna add some food coloring. So this one is blue this time to make it even look cooler. Okay, so notice again how the bubbles they don't the bubbles from the food coloring they don't mix with the oil and we're gonna pour in the sugar and if you'd like to look at it from the top it looks better. You can see how the food coloring is mixing and how and once again bubbling. the bubbles are rising from the bottom. And also, as, you, as you can see the bubbles look really cool as if it were collagens, which is the reason for experiment collagen bubbles. The okay. last thing we're going to do is sand. And I'm going to add some green food coloring to this one. Sand is Just because the, I like green. Sand is the most heaviest. Um, so we'll see what see. effect this one has. Okay, Here so we go to sand. Let's let the green hit the water a little bit. And as you can see, the sand is coming right back up. As soon as it hits the floor, it's right back up and you can see bubbles. And the more the more sand, sugar, or salt you add, the more bubbles you're gonna get. And the more of a collagen that you're gonna have. And like like before, it gets saturated at the bottom and it all starts to stack up and you can see the little salt crystals and the sugar crystals here and the salt. So a little bit more to the sugar since this one's died down. Obviously you can see the sugars probably since this is the lightest of all three it actually doesn't last very long so we're going to go ahead and put more and they don't come up as much. So and that's collagen bubbles. So we noticed that the heaviest of the so you notice that the heaviest of the three actually stayed up the most. Mm -hmm. The salt was probably about the second most, and there's hardly any bubbles in this one. But there's still some, and the sugar, the sugar has no bubbles at all. Yeah. So there's your recommend you sand. Sand would probably be the most if you ever want to do an experiment, an experiment like this. Okay, as you can see, we just got through spinning it with a pencil, and it looks way more sparkly, and you can see the oil f bubbling at the top. And it's green looking like a witch. It. I don't want to eat it. it looks Let's see what this one looks like. Nothing happened. That one has very little sparkle. Okay. 
And here we go, adding more color to this one. Yeah. And you see the sparkle coming up more. That's it. So again, kids, this is a simple experiment you can try at home with your parents' time. Home. We're gonna have we're gonna add an alcatzetta to it and see what what the reaction is going to get. So put this in the laundry. Yes. We're gonna pour the sand in there, and there you can see the food coloring starting to go. And then drop the alcatzetta. Okay. Do I spin? Doesn't matter? No, okay. just drop it. And then you can see the reaction. Do you drop hear the that? Other one. Let's drop the other one in. We're not going to have any, any sand, sand in it. We'll mm -hmm. just have the food coloring and two alka Okay, so. And one alka Whoa, I missed. Here it goes. As you can see, we're not having a bigger, as of a big reaction as we were in the other one. Now we're going to add a second one to see what happens. Mm -hmm. Bubbling more. Look at it on the side. You can see like waves. And then there's the alcatraps are dissolving right here. And the other one's completely gone now. And since the one with sand isn't there anymore.